Hi, welcome to what's happening. Here are the top five stories today. At number one, the military board of inquiry constituted by the defense headquarters to investigate the killing of 17 soldiers in Okwama community, Uheli South local government area of Delta, has commenced seating. According to the news agency of Nigeria, NAN, the panel convened on Wednesday at the governor's office annex in Wari South local government area of the state. The board is chaired by Air Vice Marshal David Achai, Director General of Political and Security Services in Delta, David Tonwe, who ushered the Okoloba stakeholders into the meeting room, however told journalists that they were not permitted to be part of the meeting. The slain soldiers, made up of a commanding officer, two majors, a captain and 13 others, were ambushed and murdered on 14th March. They were said to have been responding to the crisis between Okoloba and Okwama communities, which had allegedly been engaged in an age-long land dispute. At number two, the family of the late former chairman of the Nigerian Exchange Group, Abimbola Okumbanjo, who died in a helicopter crash in Southern California in February, has filed a lawsuit against the U.S. helicopter company. The crash also claims the lives of Dr. Herbert Mwigwe, his wife and son, who were all on board. The family claims that the flight should not have taken off due to dangerous weather conditions. The lawsuit seeks answers and accountability from the preventable crash. The National Transportation Safety Board is investigating the incident. The lawsuit also includes the CEO of Orbic Air and the successors of the pilots responsible for the flight. The Okumbanjo family is seeking a jury trial for damages. At number three, the Actors Guild of Nigeria, AGN, has suspended all film productions involving riverine areas and boat rides after the tragic boat accident that killed Nollywood actor Junior Pope and three crew members. The Guild's president, H.A.C. Rollers, announced this in a circular posted on social media on Thursday. Actors are also barred from working with producer Adam Maluk until further notice. The accident occurred on April 10th while the cast and crew were filming The Other Side of Life, which has now been suspended indefinitely. Rollers initially reported that Pope survived and was receiving treatment, but later deleted the post. As the search for the remaining missing individuals continues, the AGN sends their condolences and asks for their souls to rest in peace. At number four, Napoli is on the hunt for a new striker to replace Victor Osimen, who will be leaving the team at the end of the season. According to La Gazzetta dello Sport, Napoli's top choice is Lille striker Jonathan David, who has had an impressive season with 23 goals and 7 assists in 39 games. Osimhen, despite signing a contract extension in December, is set to join Paris Saint-Germain, who are looking for a replacement for Kylian Mbappe, who is heading to Real Madrid. Chelsea is also interested in signing Osimhen as the top forward. This is on par with his performance from the previous season. At number 5, Russia and Kazakhstan are facing unprecedented floods due to rapid snow melt caused by warm temperatures. According to Reuters, Ural River has overflowed its banks, leading to the evacuation of over 110,000 people in both countries. The Orenburg and Omsk region in Russia and the Atyral region in Kazakhstan are the most affected areas. Peak flooding is expected in western Siberia and some areas along the Volga River within the next three to five days. The Kremlin and Kazakh counterpart Kasim Chomat Tokayev have pledged cooperation in managing the floods. Over 97,000 people have been evacuated in Kazakhstan and 10,500 houses flooded across 37 regions in Russia, primarily in the Orenburg region. That's all for now. See you next time and what's happening.